Welcome to Overflowing Hope 180 with Dr. Jim Allen. Hello, friends. I hope you're having a great day. You know, the Word of God can bring peace to our hearts and our lives if we only stop to listen. And even when someone is reading the Word of God and they don't even know the Lord, that Word still goes forth. It doesn't return void. It can touch hearts. I ministered to a young man, I suppose he was in his 30s, in a psych ward for the criminally insane. Yeah, there were arsonists in there, there were other violent people in there who were there because their mental illness had driven them to acts of violence or endangering others or endangering themselves. Well, this young man, the first time I met him, he came up to me and said, I'm going to cut out your heart and eat it with a spoon. <laughs> it was all my first time in that particular ward. And so it was, um, I wouldn't say frightening, but it certainly was unsettling. As I got to know him a little better, I found out some of his issues and some of his problems. But he had a particular personality, another personality, that when you stepped into that personality, something happened. Something miraculous happened, not even to, not just to him, but to everybody in that day room, to anybody that was around him, people would stop and listen to him. For he had memorized the Sermon on the Mount, our Lord's Sermon on the Mount. And when he got into that personality and he began to share and stand before the people in the day room and began to share the Sermon on the Mount. I'm telling you, it was like you were sitting there listening to Jesus. It was so powerful. It came from so deep in his soul, so deep in his heart. It, was, it just sent chills over me. And as he was in that, he, people in the room, in the day room, things would calm down. There'd be more peace. It was an amazing thing to behold. And every time I went to visit him, I always hoped he would switch over to that personality. But of course, he didn't always do that. Many times he was a little cantankerous and angry and cussing up a storm. But somewhere down deep in his heart, someone had sowed the word of God so deep in his soul that when he was able to get just a pause in his mental illness, the peace of God came all over him in such a way that it filled that room. I often wonder what happened to him. I have no access to that ward any longer, and that's been years ago. But I can tell you one thing, that man made a tremendous impression on me. Not just his anger outburst, but what the Word of God did for him. Jesus says in this world, we're going to have trials, we're going to have tribulations, we're going to have problems. But be of good cheer. He says, I've overcome the world. I pray today that you will take time to read Psalm 23, to read something that brings peace, to read the Beatitudes, to read the Sermon on the Mount, and to just listen to what Jesus says about the world. I wish I could take every one of you back to that day and into that day room when he became Jesus, just when his mental derangement took a brief pause. For 10 or 15 minutes just speaking to us as though he was the Lord sharing the Sermon on the Mount. It still gives me chills thinking about it. I pray today is a good day for you regardless of whether your team wins or doesn't win. <laughs> this is a good day to praise the Lord. May the peace of God that passeth all understanding guard your hearts and your minds through Christ Jesus. Blessings today.